So what we've done so far is we've recorded externally, we've recorded internally, and now in this video I want to actually talk about recording, um, chopping up, slicing up loops that you already have. So we're not even going to use, we're not going to record into machine now, but we're going to use pre-made recordings and actually chop those up. So I've got a nice start into the song already. Maybe we just want to add some of these chop loops or something. <laughs> So that's what we're working with right now. What I want to do is come to group E. We're going to start with a brand new group. And what we're going to do here is come to the disk tab. Now remember we talked about this in the quick start tutorial. The disk is basically your hard drive contents. And now in the disk, I can choose anything. My hard drive, my desktop, whatever I have. You can even create your favorite folders. So you come in here right click anywhere and say add to favorites and then you will have a nice list like this that you can come into so for instance I have my machine loops these are nice chopped up loops I've collected over the years um, just to give you a heads up we're just gonna be using samples I've made because we, <laughs> we don't want to use someone else's stuff and get sued for you know chopping up someone's copyrighted material so I'll go through some of the stuff you can kinda get an idea you can audition these just by clicking on them now this is basically something I've programmed inside of machine with the machine drum kits to kind of simulate what you might find in an old break on an old vinyl record or something. This is typically what most people are going to use um, the chopping. You know, you're going to find like a cool break on a piece of vinyl, or you're going to, you know, have a loop from something that you actually want to kind of chop up and and maybe reimagine in a new sample. So we're going to use this one. I can just double click on it, or I can hit enter from the keyboard, and it's going to load into sound one. And so if we hit it here. It's going to come in and play. If I come to the sampler module, remember you can choose what type. I want this actually to be an ADSR amplitude envelope. That way when I let go, you know, it's not going to keep playing like the one shot where we had before. So let's go ahead and close this browser. We have more room to work with. And then let's come into the sampling tab. So right away you can see what we have going on here. One thing I want to do is actually come into the edit mode. And we touched on this briefly, but I'm going to come into the audio tab here. I can come right here as well. And I'm actually normalize this. It's just going to make it louder, easier to work with, easier to see these slices. Excellent. So, from the machine controller, obviously you can see everything that's going on here. Remember too, if you want to zoom in, you can zoom in right with this knob right here. You can get really fine in and you can move around as well as you need. So, so the first thing we're going to do is talk about slicing. Slicing, as soon as I hit the slice tab, we have all those options we talked about earlier. So immediately this put it into split mode, 16 slices, automatic tempo, and it shows the BPM of the original recorded material, which is really handy. So even though we're recording in 120 beats per minute right now, it shows you that this loop comes in at a tempo of 87 beats per minute. So right away, the slice can be played right from the controller. And you can see if you kind of play it in time, it'll actually be the loop. It's easy to play like this because these are perfectly sliced into 16 slices. Now, we have a couple different modes. We can go in, obviously, detect mode. Now, detect, you can see at a sensitivity, I can adjust the sensitivity and it's going to give us more slices or I can take it down and it's going to give us less and less and less and you see they actually correspond as I add more or take them away on the machine controller so this can be really handy <laughs> so 
So you can play like this however you want. So let's just get in some slices here. I'm going to just detect a couple here. Where are we at? I just want to do about 16 pads worth. And that works for me.